one pretty important problem is that both theories ultimately fail. So general relativity describes, I guess, large-scale things. That is, it mostly tells you how very fast things move through long, large distances. Um, and general relativity predicts that there are black holes, which is the little um, sink on the left there. Um, and we are, have pretty good evidence that there exist, black holes exist, that there, are, there is black holes in centers of large galaxies and so on. But we don't actually know what's inside the black hole. So the theory predicts them, but when you go really close, when you get inside the black hole, you get an infinity for the curvature of the space-time, which really means your theory breaks down, so you don't actually know what's going on. Similarly, you use general relativity in cosmology, and we are pretty sure that the world started with a big bang and eventually cooled down to the universe that we have now. That's the little image also on the left there. Um, but again, at the big bang, the theory blows up. You give you infinity. Um, so you don't actually know what was really going on in the beginning, and you don't know what's going on inside the black hole. Now, quantum field theory, well, the advanced version of quantum theory, which describes everything else, describes matter, has also been tested to great accuracy. Um, but it works, but in a funny way. So it tells you things like, for example, like you have in this diagram there, you can start with a photon, and the photon can split into a pair of electron and positron, which then can maybe recombine into a photon. But one of these electrons could split into another photon, which could split into another electron and positron pair, which could split into another photon, and can keep going ad infinitum. Um, so that is kind of a problem, because you get another infinity. And we have ways to deal with it, but the ways that we deal with it, it's called renormalization, it amounts to um, take the age of your mother, subtract the number of your cousins, multiply by the age of your father, divide by two, throw half in the sea, and the answer you have is the right answer. And I'm not exaggerating, that's kind of how it works. You have various recipes, and the people who are good in quantum field theory are good because they get a gut feeling on which one to apply when, but it's kind of voodoo, so you don't really know what's going on. So the theory actually, in some fundamental level, we don't understand, and everybody really expects that it has to be replaced by a better theory, where you don't have to do funny um, math like that. So yes, we have two fantastic theories, but frankly, we don't trust them. Because if the theory cannot tell you answers all the way, well, you don't actually know where the problem is. Um.